Hi, this is Mark from Chartbait, and the purpose of this little brief video uh, is just to show some rigging techniques uh, that we commonly do and that more increasing number of our clients are doing, making use of either the sawtill connection system or uh, latch needles, loop pulling needles, uh, spectro rigging needles offered by Daho. Uh, we've sold them for probably 10 years now, going back to the Burns days, uh, Smitty um, also sells the needles through us. Uh, Jerry as well uh, with Jerry Brown and the Spectra but at this point in time Dahu seems to be the primary supplier of this type of product and those are the needles that we'll be using. Now the fellow in the background is Max who's been with us for several years, years now going back to when he was just a small child and would come to the store and buy stuff for fishing inshore. Now Max has been working at the store for us for two three years now I guess and, and is good at the rigging so oftentimes he gets that job when somebody wants some custom rigging done. So Max is on. Alrighty, so we're going to be doing a hollow end loop here today and what I've got here is some 130 pound JB hollow and the first part what you're going to do is grab it between your pointer finger and your thumbnail there and just flatten all the braid out and what that does it just takes all the tangles out so that you, know, you don't have any, uh, any twist in your line for when you're, when you're fishing it. So all the way down to the end there, you don't have to do it too hard, just nice and you know, flatten it out. Then you're going to take your reverse latch needle here, probably about, I like to give myself a little bit of extra room, so that's probably about three feet back from the end of the line. You're going to take your needle and insert it towards the end of your line there. Please take it. Try and fit between the weave. And there you go. Usually that's the hardest part. So do you want to pause? Yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit there. Okay. Let's see that connection. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. And now once we've threaded our our, our uh, latch needle on there about that far. What you do is you open up your latch, and this is this is going to be the loop that you've actually pulled through there. So you grab it with your latch needle there, close it up, and then start threading it in. What pound test spectra are you working with on this? This is 130 pound Jerry Brown hollow core. So then we get about, I want about a foot of slack there at the end, maybe a little bit more. And then you bring the needle on out. And one of the key things is to just make sure you come through between the weaves. And so there we are right there. Okay. Then you just pull it on down. and it's pulling the spectra inside itself. You can just pull that all the way down. Unlatch it, and there's your loop. You can make the loops of any size. You yep. can make a one inch loop. Usually, you're doing what, a couple of feet? I like a loop about this big. That way, mm -hmm. it fits around spools easier for when you're doing your 
your uh, your wind ons and stuff like that. Ah. So, you know, it's probably about a foot in diameter. Mm -hmm. Then, what you're going to want to do. Okay. Okie dokie. And so now what you're going to want to do is the lock. And so we have our tag end right here. And we're going to grab that again with our latch needle. Just like how we did in the first part. Close it up. And about an inch from this junction right here is where I'm going to insert it back in going towards the spool. Probably cut if you want to. Right now. All right, and this is the final part where we're locking it back in, and this is everything right here. The needle being inserted back into the line towards the spool, the loop, and this is our tag end right here that we're going to be inserting back in. So we've got our latch here, and we'll just run it back up in there. Tighten it all back up. There's your lock right there. And finally your loop. You can right here, you can give your tag end a snip. And then what you do is you just pull where it's uh, where it's connected there, you just pull it back in there and it'll make a seamless connection. So that's the entire hollow end loop.